Hi, my college students. It's Miss Wondrak. Just wanted to see if you remembered a very similar lesson that we did a few months ago with meters and centimeters. Do you remember what you're supposed to do if you want to measure an object on a ruler, but you're not starting at the very beginning of the ruler? Well, I'm looking at this page. This is actually from the textbook. And what we have to do is take where you began at the ruler and where you ended at the ruler and find the difference. And when we find the difference, we subtract. So this little girl here is saying, I want to measure my paper clip from the one inch mark on the ruler. Can I do it? And the boy answers, yes, you can. Just subtract to find the length of the paper clip. Two minus one equals one. The paper clip is one inch long. So because you're starting at the one inch mark and ending at two, subtract the numbers two minus one equals one. The paper clip is one inch long. It is not two inches because we did not start at the beginning of the ruler. Here um, they have a paintbrush and they have a pen. The paintbrush begins at the one inch mark on the ruler. It ends at the 12 inch mark. So 12 minus 1 equals 11. The paintbrush is 11 inches long. It is not 12 inches long because it didn't start at the beginning of the ruler. Now this particular ruler has a zero on it. And that's fine. That's the starting point. As we learned in class, rulers are made by different companies and they can be designed a little bit different. The size of the inches will be the same. That's not going to change. But the run ruler that I like to use didn't have a zero. It just started at the very edge, at the very beginning of the ruler. That was like an invisible zero. Some rulers I have in the classroom don't have a zero. They just have a little line that tells you to begin there. So again, if you don't start at the ruler's beginning or the ruler's zero, you have to take the point on the ruler where you began and where you ended and subtract the numbers. Remember, biggest number always comes first when we subtract. So let's do one more. This pen is starting at the four inch mark. It ends at the nine inch mark. So nine minus four equals five. The pen is five inches long. I hope this helps as you do today's lesson. Have a wonderful day, my college students. Miss you.